The race to the White House will likely come down to those handful of key battleground states, and that is exactly where both campaigns are betting big. Right now, the blue wall of Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Wisconsin are all up for grabs, but DDHQ also listing Georgia and Nevada as toss-ups. That's why Vice President Kamala Harris is spending her day in Georgia. She is focusing on shoring up support for black suburban voters in Atlanta. And former President Trump's vice presidential pick, J.D. Vance, is heading to Nevada. That's where he is hoping to secure suburban voters there. Correspondent Nancy Liu was live for us in Henderson, which is just outside of Las Vegas. Correspondent Elizabeth Pran is live for us in Atlanta, diving into how each are being received by the voters they are targeting. Elizabeth, I will start with you. Uh, what are Georgia voters most concerned about? Well, we've been talking to them for the better half of two hours, Nicole. There is a ton of energy. The doors open at 3 p.m. The vice president will be here at 7 p.m., but they started lining up at noon. We're hearing from a lot of folks that they care about social issues and they care about the economy. They care about reproductive health. And if you look at the polling in the state of Georgia, they really are neck and neck, 46 and 48 percent, respectively, the vice president and the former president, within the margin of error, which is right around 3.4 percent. What she does have to battle here is the likability. She's got a 47 percent favorable, a 51 percent unfavorable. But really, if you look at her favorability and then the former president, Trump, he's not really doing very well either. 49 favorable, 50 unfavorable, so they're basically split. Um, I will say that the people who we spoke with are, are feeling a ton of enthusiasm. And if you look at the electorate back in 2020, 30% of that vote being black, 88% of that voted for Biden. Historically, since 1984, the state went blue in 1992 for Bill Clinton. And then again in 2020, an asterisk there, though, Nicole, you did have some huge down ballot. You had Senator Warnoff and Senator Ossoff. You don't have that this year, so it's really up for anyone's guess who could be taking the state of Georgia. Nicole? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.